I'm Joe Rickman. Um, I'm the program leader for Erie in Eastern Southern Africa. We've been in Eastern Southern Africa now for four years. Many things have happened during that time period. In the last four years, we've introduced more than 4,000 varieties uh, to Eastern Southern Africa, from Uganda in the north to, to Mozambique in the south. We've also imported equipment and other technologies that we're trying to get both through the research program and also down to farmer level fairly quickly. This year we've concentrated a lot more on trying to get technologies to farm levels. Some of the reason behind that is, is quite simple in that the national programs just do not have the capacity to actually take technologies and through their people get it to farmers. So now a lot of our program, including the breeding program, um, involves p farmer participatory variety selection trials where materials taken out amongst the farmers, planted in farmers fields and they actually are involved in the evaluation. We're also doing a lot of on-farm demonstrations where we take agronomic practices and show farmer the differences in things like fertiliser use, time of planting and, and um, establishment rates. We're also bringing in mechanisation where we combine mechanisation and demonstrations with these other two activities. And another very important addition to our program has been the use of farmer field schools. In that area, we are now using farmer field schools in Burundi and also in Mozambique. From, uh, so we brought uh, 4,000 breeding land from Iri, and from those 4,000 breeding land, we select for the first year, about uh, 100 breeding lines and for the second year we select about uh, 20 varieties so from those 20 varieties we conduct the pvs where we uh, invite uh, farmers to come to select what they think is better for them and uh, the major criteria for farmers uh, the yield obviously and uh, the grain quality short duration and uh, as I'm saying, we are going to release uh, two varieties in Burundi, two varieties in Mozambique, and three in Tanzania. And uh, those varieties which will be released uh, are going to replace IR64, which have been uh, in, uh, uh, in Africa for a long time. Uh, they have uh, uh, good yield, and they are resistant to diseases than IR64. Another important component in the program is capacity building. As I said earlier, one of the major restrictions in the program is that we just do not have a large national program to support us. All in all, we have less than 60 researchers working in the six countries and less than 60 extension people. So capacity building is very important. The idea is to bring our technology down to the fields and then we have uh, a special uh, group of uh, women ex-combatants. They are having, uh, they are organized in associations, and those groups we go to them, and we have uh, Iri has uh, helped them to have land, and we accompany them from land preparation to harvesting. We are doing that on a number of fronts. We're looking at it from the higher level masters and PhD programs right through to technician training and now we're going down to extension training as well. So we're really covering the full gambit of, of, of a total program. We're trying to integrate all of the uh, operation so that we, we are combining plant breeding with agronomy, with farm mechanisation and with training.